Where are we going, Palin? Virginia. What's in Virginia? Binky. Binky's. Are you bringing this cat to Binky? Uh -huh. You bringing it to Vinny? Maybe. Is Vinny gonna be there? No. Hmm. Nice shirt. Kind of looks like mine. Oh yeah. Well, we are getting ready to uh, head out to Central Virginia to the largest and best three-wheeler collection there is. And uh, we're behind schedule. It's about 6.30. We want to be on the road at 6, so we are going to make up some time. So I got to go. Everybody, welcome back to this old trike. Got my buddy Marshall in the background. Gray, Eric. Been chatting my, my brains out here. And I gotta record some video because we are at the Forever ATC collection. Let me show you. Let me show you what we didn't show you last time or some of it. I don't know. There's there's so much stuff. Well, today is an open house. Binky has been doing these for, this is the third month, end of the month, a given Saturday he picks and puts the word out and, and the people show up. And I've met a ton of new people. I've met people in person that I've talked to on the, the interwebs before. Finally met Chase Penny in person. Matt Serwa, Serwa Tires. Tricycle guy's here, because how can he not be here? He's, he's been educating Matt Serwa on ATC tires, so it's beautiful. That's how, that's how, uh, yeah, that's how Tricycle Guy and I got talking. But last time we were, we were here, we showed you the, the wall of ATC manuals. If you didn't see that, my other video shows that pretty well honestly can't tell you what is new and what is old but I don't think I really narrated my thoughts about Binky's collection going through this so I think I might do that this is a, a 350x with a missile kit on it made to look you know suited like a fat cat and that's just the coolest thing a missile kit the company that makes them has, has changed hands. You can still get those. So it's very cool to see this here. Got an 87 Fat Cat. We know that from the silver motor. 86 with the black motor. This has blue racks. I made a comment in my Fat Cat video about the blue racks. So these might be aftermarket. Like that type of flange isn't something that you see on Honda so maybe I'm wrong very cool 250R missile this is the Yamaha section over here there's the man himself talking to PJ Hart we won't we won't dwell too long here but Probably working out a deal on buying the Ghetto Pony. Bruce Allman is in the house. He's been taking some measurements on decals to provide you the, the best quality decals, reproductions made. The row of 200X is, is shorter than it's been in a long time. He only has 487s here. And this one looks very, very nice and original. It's got the headlight guard. These seat, this seat's a little darker. I probably would say that's a little less nice. You can see the discoloring in this fender. 
versus this fender. But that is a beautiful fender. Look at that. It's very common for these 87s to be spider webbed and but that plastic is beautiful. This is also very nice. Original tires. This is the one, every time I've been here, he's had this one, pink grips, pink fork boots. There's a story that goes with it, and he just wants to keep keep it how he got it. 86 SXs, a couple 87 SXs, custom Travis Gisclair SX. This is a 82 250R. How do I know that? The uh, front brake rotor is drilled. This should have disc brake in the back. If it was an 81, it'd be drum. These are Meyer fenders. I don't know that he's got a, uh, a very clean 81, 82. This thing is sick. This is, uh, geez, I don't know if that's an 83 or an 84 because I'm not as well versed. Oh my gosh, rare footage. Travis Gisclair YouTubing me while I'm YouTubing him. What are the odds of that? <laughs> Don't cross his terms. This thing is pretty slick. I believe this came from John McWorth. I might be wrong. 83. That sticker is peeling off a little bit. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful 85. Another beautiful 85. This, uh, this has Meyer fenders on it. Alright, hold on. I missed this. This is a little bit of a a mix and match. It's got an 86 headlight. It's got 86 decal, black motor, like an 85, 85 seat, silver triple. All signs point to 85 fluted brake caliper. This is an 85 with a 86 original fenders on it. He's got his nice ones over in that row over there, so just because something doesn't show up here doesn't mean he hasn't got one. A nice, clean, original 86 with an ESR cylinder. So you know that thing's really snotty. Nice 85 350X. BVC converted 450R. Got a nice Aquarius Blue US 90. Looks like that's a 1-0, so 1970. More likely than not. Look at these stands. This is the level of detail that Binky's gone to. Super cool. I don't know if these are restored or not, but if I had to guess, I would say yes, based on how nice they are. This seat looks like it's a, a reproduction. So we got a 72, 73 Tahitian red here. There's Bruce Allman, Bruce Allman sighting right there. He's out, he's working today. He's getting decals measured up. Nice bright red. Mighty green, very nice. Daytona orange. This appears to be, uh, I think a 77 FL 250 Odyssey. I believe this came from the infamous Bill Honda. If you know who Bill Honda is, he's legendary. This has the, the optional rack that goes over the motor. It's got a little tow hitch back there. Bill is the one who got the lead on my six-foot Honda sign and is the reason 
If not for his actions, it wouldn't be in my collection today. So, this is a 82 or an 83? 82. I guess it says 83. FL 250, very similar basically to the, the yellow. 85 Odyssey. And he's got a pilot over there. I don't want to crowd the work, so I'm going to jump rows here. I'm going to step right over this Odyssey and try not to hurt anything. So here we are in the 300EX, 250X lineup. Nice original 92. Nice original 91. Oh, there's some tire wear on these. It's missing the heel guards. But here's a nice 88. I just picked up a nice 88. But this one is definitely nicer. And what we've realized is these fenders, though they are one could fit the other, that has the warnings riveted on right there, where the 88 has the embossed warning in the rear. I was wondering this myself, and it does look like the 87 seat and the 88 seat are the same. But this came with the cosmic gray. Uh-oh. Somebody got nervous. Four fifty R. Cannondale. I don't even know what this thing is. You know, I know a lot about Hondas, but I don't know about these. What's going on, Bruce? Just watching you work. Oh. Watching me ramble. He's got a lot of these here now. I think this is where the 200 X's turn into. Look at that. Let's get this angle. <laughs> that was weird. But this is a whole row of stinking 450s. That's pretty awesome. I wanna get a picture of that before I move on. Pause with me, please. Okay, got my picture. But these Yamahas, you know, I don't really focus on them. I don't know what's what. 225DX, 225DR. What's the difference? I don't know. I know they made a couple cool colors. I know a couple of these came from my, my buddy Ben in Pennsylvania. I got a couple 90s from Ben, if you remember that video. He's got some beautiful Tri-Zs here. I think, I think uh, Mike Pomgren's restored some of these. And we've talked about some of these race machines. I believe this was built by, uh, wasn't this built by Junior? Yeah. Paul Jr. He's having a brain fart there. What is this, a Daihatsu? I don't recognize that. These aren't my cup of tea. I'm gonna get myself out of here. Some nice banshees. Is that the original? I think that might be an 86. I think that was the first year. They have the J arm, not the traditional A arm. I don't even know where to look to see model on this. Not model, but model year. Warrior. One of Yamaha's more underwhelming machines. Moto 4, these things look a little ridiculous. Basically the three-wheeler in the rear, four-wheeler up front. I'm a little close to those, I apologize. 
More Yamahas. This is a cool looking warrior. I could dig that. If they had more power and they were better machines, that would be cool. Got the bug eye lights. Breeze and a badger. Yamaha big wheels. Nice 350, 200. This one's all got graffiti on it. What is that? That's a 200. They made a big wheel 80. I don't know if he's got one. I don't see one. So here's a, a 200 Yamaha. I don't know what it is. Trimoto 175. These, these look a little funny. You know, the motor's so far back. These were wheelie machines. Honda had patented the placement and geometry of a three-wheeler, so it really hindered their competitors from competing. Trizingers, little Trail Buddy ALT50. Suzuki did not make a lot of three-wheelers. This might even be the whole three-wheeler lineup here, as far as I know, for Suzuki. Brands like Nanco and Hustler made three-wheelers. We know uh, uh, Commuter Industries made the, the Sasquatch and a couple other machines. Did I miss anything over here? Some KTM quads. The signage that Binky has. The memorabilia. All these Kawasaki's up above the other machines. It is crazy. Seriously, LT250R, 250, Quadzilla. Never ridden one of these. I don't really care to. That's just me, I guess. I don't know what years or what. You don't come to me for LT500R content, though. These are cool Kawasaki quads. I can dig these. 250 Prairie. That front suspension setup is, is really cool. I don't know how good it is, but it's cool at least. Got some more race machines here. It's definitely got it set up different than the last time we were here. It's got a Ford Bronco in here. With the VIN on it. I don't know what that means. Is that special? First edition Bronco SUV produced at the Michigan Sun Plant. This is one of 942 door models produced. All right. How about that? That's really cool. He's got the Kawasaki history over here. Couple Can Ams. Eighty-eight style three fifty R set up to race. That's a pretty VA looking bike. I'm gonna take a break from recording for a minute. Okay, we're back. Quick little break. Two fifty R quad section. This is probably one of the nicest eighty nines you're gonna see. These fenders were just so prone to discoloring. A lot of them turn into this. Now this has got a correct seat. That black seat is not correct. This is a beautiful 88. Another beautiful 88. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but these fenders, you know, show that discoloration too. I don't know. I've heard, but I'm not confident that these fenders interchange on an 88, but they might. So 80, I forget which is which.
Okay, so 86, first year. Says four tracks on the, the cowl. Nothing on the seat. 87 gets the four tracks on the seat, but they take it off the cowl. And if you wondered who got Binky into collecting like this, it's this guy right here. Randy, right? Gary. Gary. Shoot, blew it. We'll let it die. I've met so many people, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but this is all your fault, Gary. Yep, I'll take the one. I'm going to pause this so I can chat with you real quick. Okay, I've, I've been talking more, so I just kind of want to finish up. A couple 85, 200Xs. Both look really nice. 84s, 83s here. You know, this one, one of these has minor fenders on it. This one, this one. So this has an Astro kit and Meyer fenders, so pretty unique. You know, a lot of these Astro kits didn't survive. Old school Meyer decal. 200S with the front rack. That's how Tim Keister likes them. Get into the 185S's. It's got the rear rack on that. No 81, 185S. You go right here to the 1980 with the optional oats. You know, uh, Chevron, you know, kind of US 90 style tire. Very cool. Then we have the PK suspended 1980, 185. So these are orange in color. This one was built by Hilltop Power Sports. I think that's uh, Tyler McLaughlin. Blue Line Graphics for the decals. Bruce happens to be over my shoulder. There's a spot here where there was a custom 125M that has left. Mitch Rapucci has purchased it. But this is a beautiful 1987, 185. I'm sorry, 125M. <clears throat> got the optional headlight guard but not the grill super duper nice machine this is nice too doesn't have original tires has a little uh, little chew in the front those fenders are very hard to find it's got the the rack on the back nice clean 86 here 85 83 blue 110 not a Christmas special. Nice 81 110. Original front tire. It's got those optional Otsus on the back. 1980 110 with original tires. 79 110. Very clean, nice. 1986 200 SX. These are very cool. Just love this color scheme. 87 is also very cool. Oh, we have one right here. I don't know which I like more. They're both very cool. Being an 87, these fenders, see? See the, the sun checking that happens? They're just prone to that. I don't know what it was about that 87 plastic. At one point, Binky had over 30 87 200Xs. Now he has five. He's got the four in line over here. He's got one in this line. We're going to cover that line here in a minute. After we get through this line. Nice 85, 110. 86, 200S with the correct Dunlop tires. So that's the same tire that would have come on the rear of an 82... No, I'm sorry. 83 or 84, 250R. Same as the rear tire on an 83 or 84 250R. But this is a very nice pair. Optioned out identically. 86 200S last year. 82 200 with reflectors. And if you notice right here, that's where the reflector would have screwed in on, uh, on that machine. 82 Big Red, 83 Big Red, 84 Big Red, 
another 84 Big Red. There's no 84 200E. There's no 85 200ES. There's a very nice 85 250ES. Very nice 86. Very nice 87. That needs some original tires, but maybe he doesn't need it because he's got this nice 87 with original tires. And he has the absolute best, hands down, 88 250 ES Super Reds. And these come from the factory with a horn on them. That battery isn't juiced up. And neither is this. That button, you know, that's not Honda quality, so maybe, uh, Maybe they aren't from the factory. What do you think, PJ, this horn? Is this dealer installed? The switch does not look factory. No. There's the controls right there. Is there one in that control picture? It's there. Factory horn. Right cheap down on the button. And this, uh, these keys are like you know, 88 250R, 88 250X. <clears throat> uh, Pro-Am 501 on the front, but XA 601 on the rear. So not only is it a super rare machine, it's got a rare optional tire on the back. These are super special. Trying to close up this video, PJ. Getting the highlights right there. Oh. Horn button. Horn button. Horn button. No Honda on the back. These have a warning. Very cool. My wife's sneaking a phone call in. 85 ATC 70, 78 90, 84 110 in superior blue, 84 125M, another 87 125M with those. Oh, there's Gary. Gary. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What's that about? That's not good. Oh, that's it's on a stand. Okay. I wondered how it was managing to stay up. 83 185S. 85 200S. 84 200M with optional chrome rack, but no front rack. Very clean 85 Big Red, very clean 250SX 85, very clean 87 200X. Let's look at this thing. What size is the front tire? 24 inch. So these, you could get 24 inch, you could get 23 and a half. It's weird. We'll go check some other tires just to get an idea of what's what, but look how nice this is. It's the shine on those. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now this is, I think these might have been restored because that's not crisp. It doesn't match this. <clears throat> but where are you going to find an 87 200X with a tack and a zero mileage speedometer? Very cool. This is an 84 250R with the Dunlop tires that we see on the 86 200S. Very nice 86 250R. Very nice 86 350X. What have we not covered? In my other video, we did the wall of manuals. We won't redo that. 
We haven't looked at his case of goodies. Mannequins with Honda Line helmets on. newest edition, a trike in a jar, compliments of Palin Frazier. But here's some custom machines as well as some very clean, nice originals. Nice 84 ATC 70 with the, the throttle limiter kit installed, or not installed, just hanging. No clone 87 250R because we all know those didn't exist, right, PJ? 86 350X with Speedo and Tech. How the heck does that mount? Clips around that and goes through that hole. Far out, man. ATC 70, 1973. Another clone of a possible 87, but not really an 87. 83, 70. 85, 350X with the over fender kits, front and rear. And the fender support. A lot of options there. This 250R and that 350X are made to match each other, built by TC, Tom Carlson. So, to mimic the engine that they would make, the Golden Nugget. Tom Carlson actually had a bad accident on that machine when he was building it. Oh, he does have a nice first gen. There's one right there. Didn't see that at first. Christmas special. Another 7370 back there and a 78, I believe. And then there's this guy. That is just beautiful. And I think that's what we're going to end on. If you get a chance to come here at the end of next month, you really should. This is the place to be. You can spend hours and hours here like we've done today and not see it all. You'll see it all, but you'll never see it all. So, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe. You don't want to miss out on anything, and we will catch you next time. PJ Hart, Hi. what'd you think of the uh, Binky Tapscott collection? It was, uh, it was nice. Nice? It was real nice. A good start? Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. Start. It's inspirational, honestly. So. There's a nice machine or two in here. If you look, you can find a couple. Yeah. What was your favorite? Do you have a favorite? My favorite is the uh, 81 185 PK. I know you, I remember you did something. 1980. Or 80, yes, 80, yep. sorry, 80. That is a nice one. You know, I like PKs. Yep. Oh, I can't even zoom. I wouldn't have gotten rid of that one. Yeah, I think that one, I think that one is our favorite. Did Shelby express a favorite? Um, I would say the 70, the old style 70. Okay. The restored one. Hey, Allison. Have you identified a favorite of yours? You're choosing? No. No, I never have. Just me. She's the best. Uh huh. What you guys talking about? He said that's a good idea for a clone. It looks like it's the same as that elusive picture. Yeah. 
red boots, red tank, everything else is uh, white. No comment. Those rivets on that Meyer headlight yeah. kind of say something. Yeah, uh -huh. well, that was what Honda did in 80 cents. Yeah, and, and technically, <laughs> if you contract want, it out. If you want to get nutsy, that seat, that elusive seat with the weird A, that's an 86 script on yeah. that seat. So. Yeah. Not to I'm not going to pick this apart, though. Yeah, I'm not going to pick apart the master. And that's our trip to Binky's Forever ATC. It was as awesome as the video looks like. Here's PJ meeting the man himself. Uh, you know, it was PJ's first time. It was Tricycle Guy's first time. <laughs> Another guy showed up in a coat that matched his. It's just a great way for us Honda three-wheeler, you know, the enthusiasts of all makes and models and types and whatever to come together and just have a, a very cool spot to admire great examples preserved examples res restored examples not all of these were you know never used a lot of these have been you know brought back from the dead you know not sure what portion but many of them and it's just a great way to be a kid again relive your youth and and re-experience the feelings that you enjoyed but this was our trip wanted to share it with you a little more narration this time hopefully i didn't get too boring and if uh, if you did fall asleep during this video it's time to wake up so here's my, my buddies some honda hoarder guys there it's always great to get back together with friends have a great day thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and catch all the great content Thanks again.